house troubled teens. It used to house troubled teens, but tonight there are calls to turn the old Ethan Allen facility into a home for sex offenders. Placing violent sex offenders is a growing problem with severe restrictions on where they can live. Well, that's why some are turning their attention to the old Ethan Allen School in Delafield as a housing complex for sex offenders. Not everyone, though, is sold on the idea. 12 News' Christina Palladino just spoke with one Milwaukee alderman who thinks it could work. Tony Zielinski, who represents parts of Milwaukee's south side, has long advocated for violent sex offenders to live in rural areas away from his city. He's hoping a new state law could be the next solution. I really think that we need to house these sex offenders in facilities that are away from densely populated neighborhoods. Zelinsky, who represents Milwaukee's 14th district in the Bayview neighborhood, says state leaders need to get their act together over what to do with sex offenders living in communities. If we stick our head in the sand, the situation's really going to blow up. We have to be proactive, as difficult as it may be, we have to be proactive and we have to deal with the issue head on. He's in support of a possible proposal to reopen the old Ethan Allen School in Delafield to house violent sex offenders. Bottom line is that's much less of a threat to the community having them in a facility like Ethan Allen than having them live right next door to you. According to recent reports, the Ethan Allen idea was floated by Republican Representative Michael Shira of Oshkosh. He was responding to the outcry of residents in his district, upset the state was trying to put Clint Rimes, a violent sex offender from Milwaukee in El Dorado. Ethan Allen has has been closed since 2011 because of budget concerns. The town chairman of Delafield tells 12 News he's concerned about safety. Zielinski understands those concerns and says most of these offenders should stay in prison anyways. There is an easy solution. The solution is just keep these offenders behind bars. Now, I reached out several times by phone and email to Representative Shira and his staffers, but never heard back. Kathy. All right, thank you, Christina. Another proposal for the old Ethan Allen School is to reopen it as a juvenile facility. On an entirely separate matter, the NAACP is asking the state about the possibility after an investigation into abuse at Lincoln Hills School for boys in Irma. They say Ethan Allen is closer to Milwaukee, only 30 miles away.